Well, there's no doubt these supporters are really excited about the prospect. It's always a big game when you play against Brazil and Argentina. So a match to really set the pulses racing here. It's the United States against Argentina. The whole game coming up live. That's next. Red shirt, but red alert as well with this fellow around, Lionel Messi. Well, he finds space in between the seams, and it's hard for one player to mark. The ball just kind of dies down, so it's almost like it absorbs that bounce. And he also beat Spain, the world champions, 4-1. Again, the ball just holding up on the surface and Dempsey able to take advantage and drive at the heart of the defence. Not a lot of support from him. He tried the cross shot. They're very sharp, as they were yesterday in training. A lot sharper than the US side. Messi. Di Maria. Two sides. Carlos Tevez, subject to a bit of a row going on, having what happens when Argentina host the Copa America this summer weather. Some of now Barcelona, but not often in the starting line. Here he goes, Messi, time to turn and run. That's the big problem for the US defence. Di Maria, low and hard, how it had to hold that. It's a do. Much Argentina on the counter. Messi inside, weaving intricate little patterns. Here's Lavesi. Messi once more, Banega trying to find half a yard for the shot, Rojo plays it in, Spectre with a great block, important that he stopped. Record as an American player. Messi went past Bradley very easily indeed, Di Maria right across the face of goal, only needed a touch, it didn't get it. Everything's happening so fast in Argentina, the quick decisions, and look at that out, too much Argentine defence. The US will look to frustrate Argentina as best they can the last year. Look at all the players around Messi. Banega. Now Messi again. Sometimes the ball just seems to be stuck to his left foot. Heads those US defenders tonight. Donovan hustled out of it. By Eva Banega, here he is again, the little magician Messi. Terrific one, two, it's great football this, Di Maria. Back again to Cambiasso. Oh, they're really turning it on, it's terrific stuff. Excellent play. Messi with a little one, two again. Turning, twisting, trying to find a... Everybody tries to converge on Messi and shut him down. One, two, three, four defenders. In red for the U.S. side, they do the job. Demerit looking to cover and balance there as well. I have to say so far, the United States doing a good job in making sure that Tim Howard... Here comes the corner kick. It's well defended again, what we've seen so far. You might have noticed. That's it again. Some of the more established names might have a little bit of a problem getting into this. It's Benega. The strangest selection of all for the World Cup was his non-include passing. Mascherano, though he's not getting in the Barcelona side too often, says he's thoroughly enjoying his time at the new Camp. He's never learned more. That's Messi being taken out by Jermaine Jones. The referee played an advantage rule there. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wouldn't be surprised if Jermaine Jones gets a yellow card for that maybe after the play starts. The one to Messi, can he get there? Great play. Howard off his line in a flash. Looking to get in behind was Lionel Messi, best player in the world. But he's showing it again tonight how dangerous he can be. And earlier on, Jermaine Jones with this challenge on Messi. I mean, of course, he's used to being a mark man to me. He won the ball there. Well, I think that's a reckless challenge, Ian. I have to disagree. I think that's a yellow card. Explosive movement off the ball. There he is. Look, finding space. Up there tonight, Altador, who's already up to 10 goals for the United States, pretty respectable. And by the way, 
and the US play in Nashville in their next game on Tuesday against Paraguay. And Altidore got a hat trick there, didn't he, against Trinidad and Tobago, if memory serves. And you see an injury here now from Argentina. The man, World Player of the Year, Messi, is down. And that's a sight, sadly, that everybody at Barcelona will not enjoy because they've got the Champions League quarter final coming up against Shakhtar Donetsk. And see as he goes up and challenges one of the biggest players on the field, and that's Onyewu. And the smallest, 5'5", 23 years old, Lionel Messi, perhaps as he landed, a little bit awkward. Here, they won't take any chances with him. We don't want him withdrawn too early, do we, here? No, the one thing, too, about Messi is he shows up to play every game he wants to play. He loves it, the passion that he brings. And for being one of the best players in the world, you see his goal-scoring situation, his attributes that he has, but he's also one of the hardest-working players, and that's what I love about him. That's what brings out a different characteristic trait as the best player in the world. Look at that since March 26, 2010. 66 games and 59 starts as well. And 53 times he's played a whole 90 minutes. He's been a, a busy boy, all right, Lionel Messi. Yeah, Mascherano. Messi seems to be all right again. And Messi. See why they like him. Argentina, Messi, Levesi, brilliant stuff. Messi across the face of goal. It was a wonderful move. He just lacked the finish. Well, it's lightning quick. The combinations, the understanding. Here it is, one, two, the give and go. Right through about five US players. And he's drilled to the back post across the goal. Nobody on the end of it for Argentina. But that's how quickly it can change. And here it is, even if it's just a little bit off, the understanding, the weight of the pass, it's amazing. Hard to defend. He doesn't often miss either. No, not at all. But I understand it between here and Benega right there, it says it all. It's two against five. And they're still able to find the spaces in between. Messi. This has to be there, because the players are coming from everywhere in Argentina. The flow is just amazing to watch. This is so hard. And they are working hard, the U.S. team, to try to shut this down. But you don't want to concede too much territory and drop off too much and invite them in. There's consequences for that. I hope they sort that out. Everybody, every player in Argentina, Ian, tonight wants that ball. They're not afraid to keep it under pressure. They're very, very comfortable on the ball as well. And there he is again. Levesi, mighty impressive. Now Messi, good challenge, Dempsey got the foot in. They're all manning the barricades back there. Just charged down, this is a bit better from the United States, at last beginning to get something going. Going forward, but Dempsey's dispossessed, and Messi's away. With Di Maria in support, and La Messi too. Messi goes alone, still Messi! Tim Howard to the rescue for the United States, as Messi tried something from his box of tricks what's well, all happening here end to end action the fans love it and Lionel Messi boy did he turn on the afterburners watch this see ya and he just got the shot off quickly as he got converged there by the defense of the US Tim Howard very strong great position again I mean if there's been one criticism of Messi it's been that he doesn't perform as often or as well for Argentina as he does for Barcelona well I think he's really the naysayers I think he's kind of shut them up so far in this first half yeah hey! he showed up tonight well, you could watch him all, all night and all day couldn't you really this guy's not bad either is he too Di Maria there's Messi again to invent angles that some others can only dream about. Levesi and Messi. Is Messi again. Still kept it in play. Di Maria's shot. And into the back of the net by Cambiasso. Marks his 50th cap with a goal. Which had to come, really. Well, it was a matter of time for Argentina. The pressure was there. The probing runs. And again, it's a combination. And the man of the hour, and you see Lionel Messi's movement off the ball. He gets it back here. And look at his patience under pressure at the last moment. The first save from Howard, but you can't do anything else about Cambiasso. He gets his fifth goal in his 50th cap. He comes forward, picks up the rebound. Look at that ball played through. 
at the very last moment, they just wait for it. Too many good options, too many good players. Here's the goal again, more magic work here. And you see the way Messi takes this down, he rides the challenge here from Spectre, the nutmeg on Bocanegra, there's the first strike from Di Maria. Roix again, he nearly managed to prevent Argentina scoring again with his foot, but Cambiasso wasn't going to miss really. Here's Messi again. Messi, Rojo, deflected, Howard grabs it gratefully. That's what these players can do for this side. Number five, Cambiasso scoring his fifth. They lose it, they're pressing, they've won it back again, and they're at you for the next time too. There's going to be a minute of stoppage time here, and the US need half time. Get their breath back. Cambiasso again, Messi again. Zanetti joining in, cut back, and the US happy to give away the corner kick. Well, all the focus goes on Lionel Messi, the best player in the world, the number 10, but also the weight that with it stretches out the US defense. Messi. And the United States have been on the back foot, I think. Unbelievable. And that's it, the half-time whistle that the United States needed. Breathtaking Argentina. Bob Bradley knew they were good. Did he know they were this good? Cambiasso scoring the goal, the Inter player. He's been terrific, but so have all the players around him. Banega. Messi. Here they go again, Di Maria. He's going to combine with Altador, another young player. He's trying to find his way in this US side. They're going to combine. It's almost a 4 5 1, but he probably wants Agudela to push forward a little bit more. Messi again. Di Maria. Cambiasso's arriving again. So is Messi. Fantastic save from Tim Howard. Brilliant by the US goalkeeper. Otherwise, that was two. Mascherano. Messi looking to play little one twos. You feel right at home here. They've built a style of play really totally to suit him because it's so much like the way that Barcelona performed you but look at this save from Tim Howard here well Di Maria is just all over the field you see the penetrating run from Lionel Messi the players from the US have to stay with him you can't give him that much freedom space but what a save from Tim Howard unreal excellent performance again from Tim Howard so far in this match we did the same back in 2008 in June in the old giant stadium. Melito brings it out. Lovely piece of play, wasn't it, by Benega, linking up with Messi. Time when uh, Bradley wrongly picked up the yellow card. It was a do, and I wonder if the referees um, no, I just, managed to sort that out. I think they sorted it out right away, and actually, it looked like he was giving it to. And against Fiera Brayman. But Bob Bradley obviously. Benega. Just look at him, look at that from Messi, just off the outside of the boot, but Donovan has pinched it back for the United States. Not for long though, look where Messi is now, trying to win the ball back for his side in his own half. Well, you see him, as soon as it turns over, he chases the two number 10s there, he and Landon Donovan going at it, but Mascherano comes in and cleans up as well, applies pressure. Sharpness when you're not getting a lot of game time, the it, full match up. It, it plays off, he works so hard all the time and he just loves it. Tackle there again by Michael Bradley. He's trying to get close to the player. Argentina. Messi again. Hey, hey. Rojo. To Di Maria. So Tottenham's unfortunate job to have to try to quell his talents in the Champions League quarter out tonight. That is, of course, an Argentine record. forever he actually won us for the recently appointed coach Sergio Batista who was in the 1986 World Cup winning side Messi to Cambiasso again look to Ben one with his left foot that's what he was that might be very useful with the CONCACAF Gold Cup coming up of course in the summer now then here is Lavesi he wants his first Argentine goal and goes a bit narrow Howard at the second attempt Canegra but what a story Agadella making a difference. Such a young player. 
and getting the payoff for the United States for their resilience in weathering many, many storms in this game. Well, who'd have thought it at half time? And the change has paid off. They're bringing on a second striker and just changing the shape a little. They've got a goal, but there'll be a lot more work to do yet for that defence. La Bessie again in towards Di Maria. And another hard save. Flag was up for offside anyway. La Bessie was the player denied, but Howard didn't know that there was a flag up and he had to perform more heroics. Well, because more well, top your own goalkeeper. Away goes Messi again. Hustled and harried by Bradley, but turning away almost miraculously and still in possession. How do you stop this fellow? Well, at this time, it's at the expense of a free kick on the edge of the box. Wow. <laughs> what can you say to that? Michael Bradley does a good job of, of slowing him down as much as he can. The best player in the world. He turns 360. Gets away from pressure, goes around Boca Negra. It's amazing. That's why the best player in the world. You're seeing him in action, the number 10, Lionel Messi. It's like trying to bottle lightning, isn't it? It Stopping is. Him. It's. How do you get the answers? I mean, it's two, three players. How do you shut them down? And it's likely to be. Mr. Messi with the free kick, you'd think here, although Venegas hanging around with intent. Argentina must be thinking, how is this 1-1? One, one? But it is. It is Messi. And it was always going over. And Tim Howard is rushing out to have words with, with Agadelo there. Well, he's, telling, others. he's telling Agadello, make sure your response on the wall. I'm asking you to do something as a young player. I think Agadello was sitting in between right there, just behind the wall. It might have prevented it actually it gives more of a screen to the goalkeeper. The more players that are in position there, sometimes it hurts. So let's be careful. Di Maria Messi, he's got Cambiasso over as well. Here he is. Cambiasso back in the game. And he might have shot the arena. This is intriguing now. Danega, Bob Bradley, you've got to give him the credit for that because they couldn't get out in the first half, could they? With only one up front. They were trying to, they were trying to play. It's the glorious uncertainty of this game. Here's Di Maria, Messi. Well covered again, one of the classic World Cup matches. Here's Messi again. Off he goes on another of those little slalom runs and they're not always being answered in the affirmative by that defence. A new introduction, a blonde-haired midfield player. Messi still out there. Vanega again. Not even Messi could control that, so hard was it driven at him. Di Maria. Towards Messi. We need to get some cover in there from Yewu. Yeah, well done by Michael Bradley. Well, he did well. He came in of a challenge, but open end to end here now. Di Maria on his left foot. Blocked again by Bradley. Given away in midfield. A bit sloppy, that. Messi plays the one-two, but Bradley, who made the initial mistake, won the ball. It's Argentina with their umpteenth attack so far. Messi trying to work something with uh, Carlos Tevez. Will ever get way back in the side, Messi again. Papanegra showing all his experience. Papanegra's got it off him, he tried to find Messi, maybe one or two tiring legs there now. Well, I'm not so sure because I think, you know, if you look at Messi, we always talk about he loves to play every game, but he wants to score. He hasn't scored against the US, as you said, Ian, before. And half here. A misunderstanding to Neris telling me last night he did have a chance to get a good couple of months off after the MLS season to recharge the batteries. Making a remark, we're not machines, you know. 
from the United States. Messi. Is he going to try and take them all on? He might, you know. And there's no way through. Well won back by Jay Demerit. Beginning to play really well. But they've got to watch the breaks. And here's one. Di Maria. It's something of a thriller. Messi. On he goes. Force wide. Great defending again. Messi. Still nothing. Well, he looks very hungry still to get that goal. We always talked about how many minutes will he play tonight. But he wants to probe and get at them. Look at this. The burst of acceleration is unbelievable. And now the composure of the ball under pressure. Landon Donovan, the other number 10 on the field, says, I'll, I'll try to stay with you. Midfield tonight for Argentina on the ball again. Messi plays it wide. And again, the U.S supposed to be so this will probably be the last action Messi flicks it in Bradley one ahead of he's dropping Levesi's there Bocanegra gives away a corner Messi towards Belia Chandler the right back turns up in the left back that is it it is a fantastic draw for the United States bearing in mind some of the magnificent football Hats off to coach Bob Bradley, made a big change at halftime, brought on Juan Agadelo, and the 18-year-old, almost unbelievably, delivered an equaliser. Shake of hands with Sergio Batista, but my goodness me, what a good team, Argentina.